our third week online learning. I hope everybody's doing great and feeling warm at home. And welcome to our Bible lesson. Let's begin to pray. Fold your hands together, eyes closed, and heads down. Let's say the school prayer. Almighty God, we praise you for you alone are great. We thank you for your goodness and faithfulness to our school. May your Holy Spirit lead us to love and obey the Lord Jesus Christ. Give us the courage to follow Jesus and serve our neighbor. Help us to act justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you. Let your word be a lamp for our feet and a light to our path. Grant us your wisdom and joy in our learning. You alone be the glory. In Jesus' name, Amen. Today's Bible verse is from Matthew 6, 8. For your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. Let's say it one more time. Matthew 6, 8. For your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. We have been talking about the life of Jesus from the last weeks. We've learned that Mary and Joseph were given a promise by the angel Gabriel that they would become the parents of the Son of God. And sure enough, one night many years ago, Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Did God keep His promise? The promise that God would send a Savior to the world has come true. Last week, we heard a very interesting story about Jesus when he was about 12 years old. Jesus went to Jerusalem with his parents for a special holiday called Passover. Who can tell me what happened in this story? You're right. Mary and Joseph thought Jesus was lost. He was in the temple talking with the teachers about his heavenly father. Jesus lived at home with his family, helping his father Joseph do carpentry work. Then when he was about 30 years old, Jesus left home and began traveling all over the countryside telling people everywhere all the wonderful things his heavenly father had taught him. Jesus wanted everybody to love God as much as he did to know that God loved each one too. He had so much to teach the people, so he kept very busy day and night talking to the crowds and answering their questions. For the next few weeks, we are going to learn many of the wonderful things that Jesus told the people about God. To give us an idea about what some of those things are, we are going to have a cool hunt. For hunting for clues today's activity, you will need the following. A paper, marker, and a scissor. Cut the paper into five strips. Write the clues for each paper. Please copy the clues from the letter to Paris and fold all the papers. How to play the game. Please explain to your child or your children that each paper is our clues for our upcoming Bible lessons. Now let's choose a child to be the finder. Keep the clue cards around the house. Be sure that it's visible for your child to find. Give the following directions. Say warm if the finder is getting close to the clue. Say cold if the finder is walking away from the clue. When they find a clue, ask the finder to give it to you and read the message. Repeat the same procedure until you finish and read out all the messages. Let's read together God's promises. Clue number one. God promised to send Jesus. Clue number two. God promises to care for my needs. Clue number three. God hears my prayers. Clue number four. God promises to help me do my best. And clue number five, God wants me to be nice. What is a promise? What it means to make a promise? You're right! Promise is an agreement to do what you say you're going to do. Promise is not a joke. 
It is not something you say you'll do one minute and then change your mind about doing it the next minute. People should not make promises that they know they can't keep. God has made many promises to the people who loved Him. We don't ever have to worry whether or not He will keep those promises. That's the big idea. And depend on God to be faithful and always keep His promises. I am anxious to learn more about God's promises. How about you boys and girls? I hope you enjoy our lesson today. Let's end with a prayer. Fold your hands together, eyes closed, and heads down. Dear God, we praise you for you are mighty. We thank you for your goodness and love for us. Thank you for your promises and fulfilling the promise by sending Jesus to us. Please guide us to always depend on you and put our trust to only you, so we can give honor to your name. Amen. I hope you enjoy our activity for today, boys and girls, and have a wonderful day. Bye!